okay welcome uh, welcome to another video in this video we are going to um, calculate the time of the execution of a command so calculating the time is is, is really important uh, if you're familiar with computer science and if you have uh, uh, read the subjects like algorithms and if you're familiar with algorithms you know that for the testing purposes it is really important so for example if a programmer has written his code uh, his or her code then the best way to know if the code is uh, optimized and the code is like the best the best way to know that is to calculate the time and uh, to actually observe that uh, what is the execution time of this program okay so that is one of the best way to analyze a program so in linux while we are executing the commands we also can calculate the execution time um, that a command takes okay so in this uh, tutorial we are going to show you that how you can calculate that execution time for a command okay so let's go ahead and let's get started and let's see how we can do that so press ctrl alt t as we always do and open up your terminal and from here what you're going to do the format of that uh, thing is that you can write here time and then you can write here whatever command that you want to write okay so for example in our case let's let's write ls okay so this is a command so when i ls here you can see that it has given me uh, three sorts of time so let me explain to you that what each uh, of this means okay so for example first of all we have a real okay so the real time it it is the clock wall time the actual time it has taken uh from from the beginning to the end okay so when i when i have written the command when i hit enter so from the start to the end whatever time it has taken it is the real time okay then we have the user time so the user time is basically uh the cpu time actually which it has spent outside the kernel during that process okay so for example when when i hit ls command when i hit when i have hit enter um, then what happens is the time that this process during this process the cpu time that was outside the kernel okay when the process was not using kernel the, uh, that is basically this is the cpu time okay the user okay so the system the final time that we have sys time uh, it is the time that it has spent within the kernel okay so i think pretty much uh, that is the explanation of these three times so i'm going to repeat it uh, the real time it is the time from beginning to the end and the user the user time the second time it is the time it is the cpu time that the process has spent outside the kernel okay and uh, this is the sys time which has which it has spent within the kernel okay so in linux there is a file uh, which you can use for extra information and that file is basically uh, user slash bin slash time so this is uh, the time file that resides on this path if you use this it is going to give you extra information um, some extra information certainly so if you use time command you have limited options but if you use this one you would get um, you know a lot of information extra so if I write ls now so you can see that we have extra information about even about the inputs and outputs we don't have any inputs and outputs but you get the information um, for example, if you're writing a command which is related to the input, which is related to writing and reading the files, then it is going to give you a brief information of that. Okay, so in order to get the brief information, you can use this one. So you can even uh, copy this command's data to a file as well. So for example, uh, on my desktop, I have file2.txt. If I open it up, you can see I have hello world. So um, I can uh, copy the data in two fundamental ways one i can actually um, um, enter the data into the file which will basically replace it whatever is in the file it is going to replace it 
So for example, if I want to append, then I have to use a small flag named as um, negative a, which will basically append into a file. So it will add whatever the data is already there. It is going to add after that. Okay, it is going to append it. So we are just going to um, add data. It will actually replace it. So let's go ahead. Let's write a command here slash user. Let me just clear it. So before writing the file so before writing into the file appending into the file what we would do we'd go to our desktop to make things easier so um now we'd write here the command which is essentially slash user slash bin slash time and then we're, we're going to write here negative a which will actually append in the file without deleting the content without without replacing the content We'd write here negative o and then we'd write here the file name which is essentially file to dot text uh, this is our output file and then we're going to write here the command so if i hit enter now you can see that it has given us uh, the, the result but it has not printed out the time related thing so that stuff has been uh, gone here inside the file to dot text so you can see that basically it has appended the data here okay so i hope you've got the point so similarly uh you can do a lot of other stuff uh, you can actually set the format of the string uh so for example um let's say that i just want uh, one specific time let's say i just want real time so for that we have this like user let me just write here slash user slash bin slash time and then uh, we will write here the format for the format we'll use a flag negative f and then we'll write here double quotes and inside of those these double quotes uh what i'm gonna do i'm gonna write here let's say real time and i'm gonna write here percentage e so for real time uh it's the format is like that for uh, for real time it's percentage e for user time it's percentage u and for the system time it is percentage s in capital percent u and percent s is capital for real time percentage e is going to be small alphabet okay so now what we are going to do is that we're going to write here the command simply let's say we write here ls so you can see that real time is 0, 0.00 okay so it has not gone to the milliseconds so it is showing just it's almost zero so now what we can do in the same way if i want the let's say if i want the user time so i can write here user time uh, then i'm going to write here percentage u okay so if i do like this you can see that we have got the user time so similarly you can do that for uh, system time as well so for that that would be percentage s capital let's in fact do it quickly bin slash time negative f then we're gonna write here sys time then percentage s and then if we do let's do another command u name so you can see that basically the system time is zero as well so i hope you've got the point all right so you can actually um check the size of the file as well so for example um let's say user slash bin slash time and we're gonna set the format uh so we'd write here page size and then for page size you can use percentage z and then let's say let's write here percentage z bytes and then we're gonna ls here okay and uh, let's say we write the file name which is let's say uh file one dot text file two dot text i think here yes, file two dot text let me just make it a little bit bigger okay so if i hit enter you can see that it has given the page size um which is essentially 4096 bytes okay so I hope you have got the point. So um, that's it from this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. You have learned something new. Um, if you want to know more about the time command, uh, what you can do is you can simply man it. So if you do that, you can see that here you have all the description 
of all the commands of all the help that you can use regarding the time command okay so go ahead man time and study all of that and you can perform different commands uh, from this knowledge as well okay so i hope you have got the point you have enjoyed this video uh, please rate comment subscribe and uh, for written articles keep visiting our website linuxhint.com and i will see you in the next